you know. My bad. Uh, ladies and gents, we are here with Mr. Dennis Trifonos. Say hello, Dennis. Hey, how are you doing? Let's do that again. I got up big time. <laughs> we were here with Mr. Dennis Trifonos. Say hello, Dennis. Hey, how are you? Good, man. Thank you very much. You got a training garage at home, right? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, I moved, I moved in Italy, and uh, I don't actually have a opportunity to come every time in a row because, like, I'm living not in, in exactly in Rome, but like one hour away from it. So at home, I made a um, flare room in the garage inside the garage, made a uh, bar station, made the floor mats, and uh, bought the lights. So uh, we're gonna find out a little bit more about Dennis, how he practices, where he practices. <laughs> Okay, so we've got 10 questions for Dennis, then he's hopefully going to show us one of this, his moves. Okay, Dennis, what's the first thing, first question? Okay, so Dennis, how many years have you been practicing now? Uh, eight years. And, and where do you practice? I'm practicing in the garage, like I said before. Exactly, okay. <laughs> have you ever been practicing outside? Yeah, I've been uh, like first maybe three years uh, of the flaring. Like I've been practicing half time in uh, flare rooms and half time in uh, parks outside. So yeah, when you practice outside and now you have a nice space inside, can you elaborate on that a little bit? Like what your feelings were when you were outside? And yeah, outside uh, definitely is <laughs> totally another thing. For example, for me now, if I would go to practice outside, I cannot do this. I prefer the flare room. Yeah. Because everything is uh, sorted out, your bar station, your floor mats, everything. Because outside, for example, we can get uh, have a ground on the hills. Yeah, yeah. You have a sun, you have a wind, uh, or sometimes, which is also like kind of playing a role when and other people are watching you. Mm -hmm. Like when you're in the flare room alone, yeah, you can concentrate better. You can uh, spend your time in practicing more. Like when you're outside, like you have a lot of place. Uh, when you're inside, you have a limited place, yeah. So, but the thing is, when you're going on stage, you have a limited place. So you, maybe if you are practicing every time outside, like you can go on the stage and you could feel yourself more squeezed mm -hmm. because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Like, so get a place indoors. <laughs> so how many hours a day do you practice now? Like I'm practicing three. Uh, no, sorry, six hours a day. <laughs> I was gonna say three, three hours. hours. <laughs> Just okay, so one. I'm practicing two days, one day I'm having rest, so and in this day I'm practicing six hours. Nice. So obviously you practice flair, you practice your moves, your routines, but is there anything else that you do to try and get better at flair? Like do you dance or, yeah. or you do whatever, what yeah. else do you do? Yeah, okay, so what uh, I noticed the last year in 2017, but uh, when I've been practicing, I didn't have the power. I, pre I really didn't have the power to practice a lot, like uh, because like if I would practice the routine like I don't know five or six years ago when it was easier, the most been easier. I could practice longer. I could practice easily like for twelve hours. Mm -hmm. But then when my moves become much harder, like it was, it became harder to practice them. So this is why the time of the practice been. Uh, getting low, lower and lower, like I've been, I haven't been practicing like six hours, I've been practicing, I don't know, maybe three hours and uh, I didn't already have the power. So in the last day I changed a lot in uh, my diet, in uh, my habits, like I quit the smoke, I became the vegan, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. like, okay, not became the vegan, but I started to follow vegan diet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To get the more power, to get the, um, more, so I could spend the more time in the practice room, so, and get the better results. Exactly. Outside from the practice room, I'm always thinking about my routine, thinking the way how to link the preparation of the drink with the flare, so I couldn't spend a lot too much time on one thing and go for another thing. When you were in the practice room, how do you practice? Yes, yeah, so uh, basically, like uh, we, I have uh, two days of practice uh, plan. So on the first day, <laughs> I cut. Start again. Play like I have a two days of practice. On the first day, like after I had the day off before, like when I have a fresh head, 
Uh, I basically try to practice more my routine, like to go from the start till the end with the qualification round and there is the final round uh, with the music, with the preparation of the drink in the same time. Uh, why I'm doing this? So, like, as I said before, like, it's fresh head, so you can concentrate more, you can uh, see the... Jesus Christ! Yeah, fresh head, so you can see, like, more the results of your practice, like, uh, clear as it is. Because sometimes if you're tired, like, after a couple of days of practice, you're mentally are a little bit um, tired. Just uh, your mistake is, like, what you are... Um, not making it in a fresh head. Like for example, it is the same of imitation of like every time one day before competitions, like I have a day off. So the same is here. Like I'm having a day off from the practice, then I'm coming on the practice and I have a and I'm making my routine. Like the same as I do like one day before the competition and then I'm making the competition. Nice. nice. Second day mostly is the uh, I would say like hard practice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like you are not super this uh, like uh, tired after the first day because the first day you are not uh, practicing hard moves. Like you are practicing all your routine. <coughs> but here, like on the second day when you are not so tired, you are practicing really well. Like uh, kind of I took uh, the system of practicing from the legendary Tom Marek. Uh, Tom Mar nice. Tom Mar <laughs> yeah. Dots and lines and crosses and stuff. Yeah. I changed it a little bit. <laughs> Something is every time easy for me, so I'm changing it for the harder. Yeah. <laughs> so what I did is upgraded your <laughs> stomach. <laughs> so what I did, like uh, a stomach is doing, like he's making the lines, yeah, and yeah. he's making this routine and marking the place where he dropped, yeah. So what I'm doing, I'm just trying to take, uh, for example, my working flare, like my juggling part, on my like separate parts of all my routine. So I'm taking all these parts and practicing separate uh, working flare, for example, for 15 times, but I'm practicing it like, I'm counting it when it's without drops. Like, uh, if I did it without drops, I'm counting it. If I start to do it and I made a drop, so I'm, I'm not counting it, I'm starting from the beginning again. Yeah. And like, this is 15 <laughs> times for the working flare, for the juggling, for the battle team routine, for the... Um, all the rest. Of a heartbeat pounding away. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Competing six years, flaring for about eight years. Where do you see the future of flare? Uh, like what I noticed for the last years, the flair became much more professional. The routines became much more clear. The drinks much more tastier. Yeah, yeah. The and it became much more show. Like you know, <coughs> you don't see the guys like as I remember it was a uh, like when I just started 2010, 2012, and the guys been going with the I don't know like angry faces, like angry on everything, trying to get the biggest moves. Yeah, yeah. but it wasn't actually the show. Like the thing what we need to do, we get, we get to present the show. I hope, I hope it's that. gonna get uh, better and better, more visible and visible. Like, uh, and I hope the, uh, we're gonna get the much more crowd on the competitions get interested too. To the of <clears throat> okay, so for the last question, uh, anybody out there who wants to learn to flare, maybe people who are already flaring, what's the best advice you can give to somebody who wants to get better or wants to learn to flare? Love what you do. Continue doing it without uh, looking on your fails because then you're gonna get a lot, a lot, make a lot, a lot of fails, and you just need to go over it, go over it. Don't never stop. From the technical way, I would say analyze everything, uh, plan everything, like watch everyone and try to do everyone. For example, more the basic moves you're gonna take from each one. Like for me, like I can do. George's routine, I can do Lucas routine, I can do Marek, Tomek, whatever you like. Not maybe full routine, but some of the moves, uh, of your moves, some yeah, of your yeah. moves. I used to do the same, it, it does. It, it, it tests your abilities to see if you can do the same connections and things. And uh, from this, like, you get all of these basics and you know like what you maybe need to do, what you don't need to do to create something yours. Well, there you go. Uh, Mr. Dennis Trifonovs, an insight into his pra practicing, an insight into what he sees uh, the future of Flair. I mean, you've been competing for six years. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more from him. So thank you very much, Dennis. Can thank you me. now show the... Again, we f***ed it up. Huh? <laughs> Go on, uh, how are you doing? How are you doing? Like, so like, boom. boom. Okay. okay, so can you show the guys a move? Yeah, please. Thank, thank you very much. much. The move I'm going to show is really good for the multi-object uh, moves. Like, uh, it's my strongest part. Like, and I'm going to show you a little secret how I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. So, the, basically, we're going to take the two teams here and make, like, snatch but without making the snatch because you catch it like this yeah like this so cool. when you are making the snatch you are putting it but you are not snatching until the end like this but you are stopping it with the fingers like for example when you are making the snatch you can easily just split it after if you have a move which is not just like this 
Okay. Like this. Boom. Yeah. Okay. So it's like here you're using the fingers uh, to snatch it, but you can also use the fingers just to catch it like this, for example. Like this. Yeah, yep. Here it is. Yeah. And then you can go straight up with the splits, for example, in your move. So in this way, it's also much more stable. For example, if your pin is going already away, you can stop it with your fingers like this, here, or here. Just say thanks very much, guys. Thanks very much, guys.